we will look at this question phenytoin sodium diphenyl hydantoin uses okay so this is the topic for today phenytoin sodium diphenyl hydantoin because it has been asked eight times let us look at this this is an anti epileptic drug okay so this will be our focus today so guys <clears throat> before we dive into phen phenytoin sodium we need to first of all understand what we are doing here right so you can understand that we need to understand the types of epilepsy and the classification of the drugs the mechanism of action the main mechanism of action, action and then come to phenytoin sodium so let's start with the types of epilepsy okay types of epilepsy you should know that there are two generalized and the focal partial seizures or actually focal seizures is the right word for it so you have the generalized seizures and the focal seizures so first of all look at uh, what epilepsy is epilepsy is uh, uh, it means convulsions it's a disorder of the brain function and there is paroxysmal cerebral dysrhythmia paroxysmal means random cerebral dysrhythmia okay so that is epilepsy there are two types uh, generalized and focal like i told you generalized in the sense the uh, both the hemispheres of the brain are affected in focal usually one portion of the brain is affected fine and in generalized you have uh, generalized tonic clonic seizures gtcs or grand mal epilepsy then you have absent seizures or petit mal epilepsy then you have the myoclonic seizures in partial seizures you have simple and complex in simple there will be no loss of consciousness which is good right and in complex there will be some impaired consciousness the only thing is in partial or in focal there is a small portion of the brain uh, not the both the hemispheres of the brain are involved now let us look at this uh, simple partial seizure as you can see it depends on the region of the cortex involved there can be uh, uh, manifestations okay there could be motor symptoms there could be sensory sy symptoms however there's no loss of consciousness sensory symptoms could be like smell right smell itself they can smell weird things right strange sensation of smell etc now coming to complex uh, partial seizures here there is impaired consciousness here the temporal lobe is uh, probably affected it's also called as temporal lobe epilepsy uh, or psychomotor epilepsy okay i'm not going to details of these uh, it is not very important as such then you have um, status epilepticus we'll come to that i have left um, generalized seizures there itself let's cover that Okay, uh, generalized seizures, uh, let's uh, going back to it, there are three types, we'll go into the details, generalized tonic-clonic seizures, absence uh, seizures or petit mal epilepsy and then you have the myoclonic seizures. See, in generalized tonic-clonic seizure, seizures, which is also called as GTCS, grand mal epilepsy, here uh, the sequence of events, I told you both the hemispheres of brain are affected, the person sees an aura, there's an epileptic cry or a scream. There's loss of consciousness and the person falls to the ground. Then there's a tonic phase followed by a clonic phase. That's why it's called as a generalized tonic-clonic seizure. Followed by a period of relaxation, there's a post-epileptic automatism with confusion. Basically, it ends with confusion. Tonic means there is uh, suddenly the muscles contract. Uh, clonic means there is rhythmic contraction, alternating flexion and relaxation. Okay, that is your general tonic-clonic seizures. Now, coming to absence seizures, please look at this lady. There is staring, unresponsiveness, and there could be momentary loss of consciousness. So, in both of these generalized tonic, clonic, and absence seizures, there is loss of consciousness. Fine. Uh, don't worry much about the details. Myoclonic seizures, you have muscle twitches, single muscle twitch or multiple muscle twitches. Partial seizures, I already covered for you. Simple and complex. Simple means... There is no loss of consciousness. Complex means there is impaired consciousness. Okay, then we want to cover the one more topic that is status epilepticus. Status epilepticus is a emergency situation and it should be treated immediately. The person is going to have recurrent attacks of tonic-clonic seizures or grand mal epilepsy without recovery of consciousness between um, the episodes. Okay. Or if there is a single episode that lasts for longer than 30 minutes. Okay, this is status epilepticus. It's an emergency. So, did you understand the types of uh, 
anti epilep uh, sorry um, types of epilepsy so now you will be able to understand which drug you should give for which situation understood right good